Hello and welcome back everyone to some more Dead Space 3. Alright, so, we're all pumped up now. We're in chapter 14, just started chapter 14, so it ends on chapter 19. So we've got a couple of chapters left, about five chapters left to do, and then we'll finish the game. Which, I've actually been thinking, this is probably, along with Spyro 3, this is the longest series I've done on my channel so far. Because usually everything ends around 20 or so parts. But yeah, no, I've been thinking like a lot of my recent series that I've been doing are actually really, really long. Because most series on my channel end around like 20 or so parts. But I don't know, Death Space 3 and Spyro, Spyro went up to like nearly 40 parts. It's like 39 parts long. And Death Space is, well, it's definitely looking at getting past 30 parts. Maybe even 40 parts, I don't know yet. But if it does, it'd be my longest series I've got on my channel. And for me, it's, that's, well, different. Really? I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. It says to go that way. Well, I want to go this way really quickly. So, can we not get in there then? No, nope, we can't get in there. Alright, well, never mind then. We'll go towards the whatever that mysterious monster was. That looks like a marker. Does it not? Does this not look like a marker to you? It does to me. Where did that thing go? You saw it too, right? I know I'm not crazy. There's another marker here. And another one here. And another one here. It's like it's like the uh, the another one bites the dust song. And another one here. And another one here. Another marker is here. I don't know. I'm really bad with parody songs and stuff. That is a lot of markers, though. That's like what marker graveyard. I don't trust these people. They're probably going to come alive anyway. But still, I don't care. I did my part. I did my duty for queen and country. It's a Doctor Who quote for anyone who doesn't know that. Alright, oh, I was actually thinking about watching that episode the other night. Never did, though. Heads up. Looks like Danik has had time to regroup. Damn it. How do we find Rosetta if she's been dead for 200 years? Wait a minute. There. Rosetta Lab. It's here. Perfect. Send me the coordinates. Now let's hope Danik doesn't find us before we can build this codex. <laughs> He probably will, and it'll probably go down something similar to how it went down about 200 years ago, where the guy got shot, and then he just erases everything on the codex, and then chaos continues, you know? Alrighty. I wonder if that is actually how it's going to go down. That'd be a massive plot twist. Like, the biggest plot twist ever. My god. Like, I, I wouldn't even know what to say. I really wouldn't. If that's the way it ends, I, 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 I'm speechless. I mean, obviously, I don't know if that's the way it's going to end yet because we haven't got there. But still, if that's the way it does end, I'm going to actually be speechless. I won't know what to say. Oh, at last, the suit koisk. I've been waiting for one of these for ages. We don't have one of those, so we have to come back to that. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. All right, we're good. Alright, I should be right back. And we are back. For those who haven't noticed, I just changed my suit. Oh yeah. Yeah, we just got a new suit there, so that was pretty awesome. Don't really need to visit the bench as far as I know. We don't have any scavenger bots, so, you know, whatever. Can't open that. Alright, so there's only really one way you can go. I suppose you're going to have to come back eventually you have to come back eventually and come in all these doors but I don't know not right now obviously not right now well this looks new there's never been like put a cushion padded cushion around an elevator before that's a bit weird but we're in the science division so that's pretty cool anything of interest anything at all Nope, just one huge lift. Initiating 
contamination. Please hold still. What? You know, in Dead Space games, decontamination has never looked very nice. Because usually you get attacked during them, which is never fun. Was that Ellie? Well, let's go down and see what she wants. Wow, oh, wait, hold on. Slab, huh? oh, finally. And this is an assembly station, according to the controls. So we're here to assemble a codex. That makes sense. Uh, no. According to this, we're here to assemble Rosetta. They cut her into pieces? Oh my god. Fuck this thing. They sliced her up. Why? I don't know. But some of the pieces are already in the assembly. I think I see another piece over there. Where? Where? I'm looking. I can't see it. Right here? What? Oh. Okay, I was gonna say that's a bit odd. Oh, okay, I see. In here. What the hell do we do with it? Well, there should be a receptacle that feeds that into the lab's cataloging system. Yep, over there. Okay, let me see if I can feed it in. Oh. Oh, sorry. So wait, we meant to just pick it up and then take it over there then, or what? I guess so. So even if we, like, assemble Rosetta, like, I mean, this is pretty fucked up as it is, but does she come back alive or what? Great. Okay, I'll see if I can route that to the assembly station. Hold on. Right. Now so, what? According to the records, there are four more pieces. They were checked out of storage by Dr. Serrano. Well, there are three buildings in the facility, so if there are more pieces, they're either in one or all of them. Most of the doors were locked down from what I could see. Yeah, well, you're in luck. Look what I found, a security pass. You want to give it a shot? Hey, why not? Great, thanks. Find out what you can about how assembling Rosetta will create a codex. I'll explore the labs and recover the rest of the Rosetta slabs. So that's it? Alright. No problem, we can do that! Initiating decontamination. Please hold still. So we've just got to find the doors that were locked down. See, I knew we had to come back here for some reason. I mean, they wouldn't put a load of doors like that, all locked up and stuff, if we weren't supposed to go in them, you know? It looks like there are three primary buildings in this facility. The one we're in now is biology. There's one for paleontology and one for geological studies. Which one should I check out first? doesn't matter. Just be careful. <laughs> Why? You think there's something out there that wants to eat me? That's not funny. I know. Isaac out. This is a little bit funny. A little bit. Come on. Gotta laugh. You gotta laugh to stop yourself from crying. You know, that's actually kind of a depressing saying and it's quite funny that most of my family say that. They're just like, oh well, you know, you gotta laugh because it stopped yourself from crying. I'm like, what? I mean, I guess it's true and it's a nice way to look at it, but it just sounds really depressing when you say it like that. So, wait, what? Am I going the wrong way? Seriously? Wow, I've gone the wrong way. She said it doesn't matter which one you check out first, so I've gone the wrong way. Wow. Unless there's multiple missions. Oh, okay. So you have to get them each at like certain points, I guess. I don't know. 
Well, I might as well finish biology first then. Need to find out where it is first. Because I have no idea where I'm going. Alright, so this is biology. Oh, wow. I haven't seen these things since Dead Space 2. They're different. I guess. Well, not really. You know what? Let's... Well, I mean, we might as well use the shotgun because it's going to be a lot easier. I don't know what the the secondary function on this thing is, though. There's nasty growth everywhere in here. It's blocking some of the doorways. Is it organic? It says here there's a sterilization system that can destroy organic matter in case of a containment breach. I'll check it out. Well, I guess we'll find out. I mean, there's a room here. I don't know what this room's for, but... Deploying gas? What? Oh, fuck. Okay, I was gonna say. Holy crap, I'm still in here, you know. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. Come on, biology. Open up. So, okay, a text log. We haven't had one of these in a little while. You can read that if you so wish. Pause the video and I'm moving on. Alrighty then. Let's see. Lift. Let's go on up. I've actually been creating, creating my own circuits, which is like plus two reload and plus two damage and whatnot. But they're a lot better than the ones that take away stuff by giving you extra stuff, you know? Like plus one damage but minus two reload or something like that, you know? Because that's not very helpful, I'll be honest. Where is... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I'm still getting attacked from somewhere. Ah, oh, it's one of these. So I need to take away, let's see, take away 50 and 50. See, I'm getting the hang of it now. I know what I'm doing. It takes a little while, but I know what I'm doing now. Nope, nope. Sit your ass down. Better sit your ass down, fool. All right, let's see. All right, back up. There we go. It's very, uh, very cold on this planet. I mean, he's that guy. What was his name? Dana. He's still wearing that same coat. Still wearing it. You wouldn't need to, but well, I suppose you would. But I mean, like, not on the original planet is what I meant to say. Whoa! Hold up. All right, well, let's deploy the gas and see what happens. Initiating sterilization sequence. I can't even see out there anymore. It's just one big, like, flame of gas. Is it safe? I'm not sure how safe this is to go outside. Alright, well I'm actually going to end the episode there, viewers. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave the video a like. That would really help me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. That would really also help me out a lot. And other than that, I will see you all next time. So other than that, all of us are safe me. I hope you're all having a great day. And farewell.